mankind has always dreamed of traveling into space, leaving the Earth, and discovering new horizons. This crazy quest has gradually become a reality. But the dream hasn't stopped there, and to go even further, they built a structure over our heads, 400 kilometers above the planet, the International Space Station. A steel monster some 108 meters long and 73 meters wide. It required the expertise of American, Russian, European, Canadian, and Japanese space agencies to put this incredible scientific laboratory into orbit. Like an enormous construction set, each piece was designed and constructed on Earth before being transported into space. It took 10 years to assemble in a challenge that went way beyond international borders. Reaching the space station is no simple feat. It involves a long voyage on Russian Soyuz spacecraft. After a 48-hour flight, the Soyuz is within 400 meters of the ISS. Range is 3, of 0. The roll has stabilized. There is no roll now. There is no roll deviation. We're approaching really nicely. Yes, Contact confirmed. And probe retraction confirmed. Docking confirmed. A textbook arrival for the brand new Soyuz MSO-1 spacecraft. Docking confirmed. How are you doing? Good to see you guys. It's all right. The total volume of the ISS is comparable to that of a six-room house, and it was designed to be home to six astronauts. Each one stays there for an average of six months. First through the hatch. From their very first moments on board, and despite their years of training, new arrivals are often disconcerted because they have to learn to live in zero gravity, where there is no up or down. The astronauts find their way around thanks to a marking system that shows them up and down. The absence of gravity also gives them a 360 degree working environment. Um, of course, most of these modules you see, they have four sides uh, and they're put together. That way we could sort of wa work on a flat plane, either a wall, a floor, another wall, or the ceiling. But, you know, again, all you have to do is turn yourself and your reference changes. This almost complete lack of gravity presents its own problems for the human body. We are not used to function in, in, in microgravity, so uh, we have too much blood pressure in our head. Uh, the, the blood shift is happening, so that's why you see astronauts certainly in the beginning when they fly to space that they have kind of a swollen head with, uh, with red uh, puffy face. But the ISS is much more than a simple home in orbit around the Earth. Above all, it's a top-flight science laboratory in permanent residence in space. Over the past two decades, astronauts have carried out over 1,700 experiments there. Japan, the U.S., and Europe have each supplied a lab. Kibo, Destiny, and Columbus. The research carried out in this permanent space lab covers multiple fields like biology, material science, observation of the Earth, and astronomy. The results of some experiments already carried out have allowed us to create revolutionary new alloys and new medical treatments. The ISS also means we have a permanent human presence in space and can thus prepare for future voyages to other planets. <laughs> 